Hi, everybody. Welcome to season two. I think this is episode seven of the Read Write Mike podcast. On today's episode, we're going to continue talking about and thinking about the activities that go along with the K to two character vocabulary. And we're going to talk about what happens on day four of each of the parts of the unit. Now, on day four, what happens is, is we have generating situations, context, and examples. And so this is going to be the third kind of game that you're going to play with kids that's going to help kids learn them deeply. And specifically, we're going to talk about three different kinds of games that are in the K2 character vocabulary. Number one, lights, camera, action. Number two, finish that sentence. And number three, book connection. So let's get started. The first thing I want to say about the games on day four, which are generating situations, context, and examples, is that this is the time where kids are starting to transfer the use of the word into different parts of the world and the different parts of their lives, which is the goal of learning vocabulary. You want to transfer it in your speech and eventually into your writing. And so if you've been following along on the previous episodes, the initial type of game that you play with students is what's called an example, non-example game, where you teach a content and kids basically say back, yes or no, is that the content that I just taught you? Simple identify or non-identify games. The next type of game is called an association game, where you have your bank of words that uh, students have learned, and then you have a bank of situations, constants, and examples that you provide to kids. And essentially in those different kinds of games, kids just connect the word to the example. Right. So in the first two kinds of games, example, not example and association, you're providing the examples to kids and they either have to say yes or no or connect. Now kids are getting deeper. Now kids are transferring their knowledge of the word into everyday life. And the thing that's always lovely about this this day is kids love these games the most because they get to be at their most creative and they get to show deep knowledge of a word. But I never start off with these games. These are games that I usually do after I've done a few other types of games so that kids have a deeper knowledge of the word so that they're ready to play these really fun games. So again, we're going to talk about three games, and I'm going to show you some examples of those games throughout the K, one, and two character to vocabulary. And again, those three games that you're going to see are, number one, you're going to see lights, camera, action, very popular game. Number two, you'll see finish that sentence. And number three, you'll see by overwhelming teacher, pilot teacher request from the teachers who piloted the units, the game that's called Book Connections. So let's take a look at the first of those three games. The first of these three games is called Lights, Camera, Action. Now kids love this game pilot teachers have and teachers who have already started uh, character vocabulary. It is a game where kids get to act out and embody the transfer of that word. So here's one example of this game, uh, lights, camera, action. And it might sound something like this, right? Class, let's play lights, camera, action. I'm going to describe somebody using one of our words and then tell you something that they did. And I want you to stand up and act out what you heard with your partner. When I say the words, lights, camera, action. Are you ready? All right, first, act out a wicked witch turning someone into a toad. Lights, camera, action. And then, of course, of course, partners will turn and act out, embody that word, right? And so here's another example of lights, camera, action. And this is from the kindergarten character vocabulary unit. All right, here it says, act out a considerate kid who just saw her friend trip and fall down. Lights, camera, action. And of course, one of the things that you can do is you can have partners switch roles to whoever acts it out. Really fun game gets kids transferring their knowledge of a word into different parts of the of um, the world and in the, into their lives. Let's take a look at the second kind of game, which is called finish that sentence. Now here's a couple examples from the first grade character vocabulary unit. Um, So you would say to students, you know, you'd introduce the game, finish that sentence and what you'd want them to do. And then you might say to students, okay, 
the optimistic kid went to the park and didn't see any of her friends. So she finished that sentence, or it could even be finished that story. And partners can turn and talk and they might say something like, oh, well, she made new friends because she's always looking on the bright side of things, always seeing the good in things, right? That's one example of finish that sentence. Let's take a look at another example. Here it is. It says, the cautious boy was walking on the sidewalk when he saw a big growling dog chained up to a fence. So he finished that sentence. Right. And the kids will say things like, oh, he crossed the street. So he stayed away from it. Right. He tiptoed very quietly past it. Um, kids, by the way, love the word cautious in first grade. It's a great word for character vocabulary. And now what I want to share with you, I want to share with you the third game that you'll see in generating context situations and examples. And that one is called book connections. Let's take a look at it. Now, Book Connections is a game that was by popular request from the pilot teachers who taught the unit to students before we put it out to the general public. And one of the things overwhelmingly that pilot teacher said is, we want kids to connect what they're learning back into books that they're reading. It could be shared texts that you're reading aloud to the class. It could also be books that they're reading. And so... That's essentially what Book Connections does. And it might sound something like this. All right. Class, let's start by playing Book Connections. By the way, this is from second grade. We'll connect our words to books that we've read, and you can connect the words to books that you've read here in school or at home. First, let's list the books that we've read together. Turn and tell which your partner which books you remember that we have read and maybe some of the characters that were inside them. You get kids to turn and talk. You make the list of books. And by the way, you do this once. You've already got a list of books already ready to go to reference. And each time you play the game, you add another book or another story that you've read together. Okay, now let's take our words and see if we can connect them to our books. You can even connect words to books that you've read. Let's try to connect words to books other than our fairy tales and folk tales, right? The idea is that you're transferring it to other places, other books, not just the ones that you use for this curriculum. Who in our books has been predictable? Turn to talk, right? Who in our books has been conceited? Turn to talk. Who in our books has been bold? You get the idea. And teachers have really loved and really requested this game. It's a very popular one among teachers to help kids to see them transfer their knowledge of the word to other books. And guess what, though? I've heard a lot of feedback from not only pilot teachers, but teachers who have already launched character vocabulary. And they tell me that kids naturally and automatically do book connections. When they go off to reading workshop and independent reading, they'll raise their hand and say, look, there's cautious, this character is cautious. And it's really amazing to see. And it's no surprise. I'm not surprised to hear that. And the reason why I say that is, is when a kid knows a word deeply, that is, they can transfer it. They know it really well. They're really apt to see it and use it, and they're excited to use it. Kids love learning vocabulary. They love learning content. They love knowing things. And when we get a chance to teach them that content and that vocabulary, things that they know, it is with ease and with automaticity that they draw it from their long-term memory and they transfer it and apply it to their world, to their lives, and to their books. So have great fun with the generating situations, context, and examples games. Kids love them. And here on these games on day four is when you're just going to start to see deep learning in this vocabulary. And you're really going to start to see character vocabulary start to pay off that, that five minutes a day. You're going to see it to pay off and you're going to be really glad that you implemented it. I'll see you next time for the Read Write My podcast. I hope you enjoy character vocabulary curriculum. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time.